Come to Papa. Good morning, everybody, wherever you are in the world, um, all three of you who are watching. I want to talk to you about uh, a Morse tutor, probably uh, the uh, most popular Morse tutor you can buy these days. It's no longer in production, made in the UK, and is this little unit here. It's the Dayton uh, D70 Morse tutor. And uh, it's a great little gadget, uh, gadget. It fits into your jacket pocket easily. It has a built-in 9 volt battery. Um, and um, it does letters, numbers, and uh, mixed, of course. Switch it on. Let's see if you can hear this. So you can switch bet uh, between letters. There's a toggle switch here on the front. Numbers. Maybe some of you can, can read some numbers. Numbers are easy to learn, really. And you can set it to a mix as well, letters and numbers. Of course, the volume is fully adjustable. So is the speed and the delay. That's the volume. That's a bit fast to learn, I, I give you that. So you can see this is a handy gadget and um, they come up I can up come up blah, 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 blah. they come up on eBay quite often expect to pay anything between 40 and 60 pounds for them maybe and um, they won't fail they last you a lifetime and once you're done learning Morse code you might as well give it to the next um, young operator who's keen to learn CW um, everybody can learn it I told you that many times before Unless you have severe learning difficulties, then it's a different matter altogether. Just from the very beginning, my, my top tip is really, it worked for me anyway, is um, to learn by melody. Do not count dots and dashes. You, you will struggle getting up to speed. You will learn it eventually that way too, of course you will. Um, but um, it's not very efficient and it's, it's, not, it's really not a good, a good idea. And later on when you start um, sending Morse code, uh, you struggle again because you will constantly count dots and dashes. You hear a melody and in your in your head you see the um, corresponding letter or number and this is how it's done. If you devote, um, let's say, an hour each day for four weeks, you will be able to learn Morse code. Um, I did it in two weeks, but I did it in my holidays and I used the Koch method. Just type in Koch method, uh, Kilo Oscar Charlie Hotel method and you get a nifty little computer program that helps you on the way as well. This is how I did it and this one uh, I took with me wherever I went really just to uh, you know keep going really. So this is my top tip get yourself one of these of these uh, little devices it's a Dayton D70 look for it on eBay um, I have one for sale right now just saying um, you might find cheaper versions, but you won't get a warranty. For me, you get a warranty, obviously, and it's well packed. Uh, before you go, I forgot to tell you, uh, you can also um, plug in your headphones so you don't disturb others, maybe on public transport or in the family, whatever you're doing. And um, you can connect a Morse key as well, so you can practice uh, uh, sending Morse right away. All right, uh, that's it for me. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, from time to time, I just upload some uh, reviews, well, mini reviews about uh, vintage amateur radio gear. Um, if it was any good for you, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. I prefer you to give me thumbs up, really. Um, good for my ego. Have a nice day and I'll see you, I think, um, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I'm going to introduce you to a little Kenwood radio. The tier 60 is a 6 meter radio only and it's a great gadget. But uh, I'll see you tomorrow or maybe the day after tomorrow. See ya. Bye. Thanks for watching. Where's the off button? <laughs>